Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the all new Alpine Stars Vector leather jacket. Let's start off with sizing. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, about 200 pounds with a mildly athletic build. I'm wearing a size 56 Euro, which translates into a 46 US in the Vector jacket. Have on the yellow colorway, of course. Let's give you a 360. Front, side, sleeve length is solid, back, and back to front. I do have the quilted thermal vest liner in the jacket right now, and something we've been talking about quite a bit lately is how a liner influences the jacket and its overall fit, okay? So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to go ahead and slide the jacket off, remove the vest liner and then pull it back on just so you guys can have an idea how much difference it makes in the way the jacket fits. The jacket comes with, like I said, a full quilted removable vest liner, nice quality. To remove it, you grab the zipper here at the base of the jacket on the left side, zip up the side of the jacket, over the back and the shoulders, and then zip it down the right side. It does also have a Velcro storage pocket here built into the liner on both the left and the right side. The one on the left side is a dual uh, storage pocket here. It's got one stage here and then another pocket in the back. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side. The reason we think this is important is when you're buying an expensive jacket like this you need to decide when am I going to ride in this the most and when do I want it to offer the best fit for me. Okay. I think most of us ride when it's nice out. So doing some sizing with the liner removed has a lot of merit. What you'll find here for me is basically I get just a little bit more room everywhere in the jacket. The fit itself overall is still solid, okay? Let's start off again. Front, side, back, and back to front. One of the things I'd like to note uh, with the Vector is I had to use the waist adjusters on the coat and I adjust them all the way just to snug it up there a little bit. I'm not really big in the waist. It's good and snug in the arms and shoulders, which I like because it holds the armor in place, but the stretch fabric that Alpine Stars is using here is absolutely amazing. It allows this jacket to have a really good snug fit in the arms to hold the protector in place, yet it feels literally butter soft. You can see the motion panel here. The accordion panel work in the elbow. Of course this jacket has the external shoulder armor. There's ventilation built into that. We'll show you that when we take the jacket apart. We'll show you as best we can. The zippers that are used here on the cuff are the locking style zippers from Alpine Stars, which is nice because the poles are spring loaded too. If you're going to wear a gauntlet glove it keeps the pole up out of the way. Same on both sides of course. Perforation in this jacket the entire section from here down is fully perfed. Okay? This area up here, everything you see in the stretch panels is going to flow air. It's free flowing right there. So you can manage the airflow through here, right through here, and then of course the shoulder vents are quite effective. I have an MX1 suit and use the same style shoulder and I found the ventilation on that suit's really effective even though there's not a ton of perf up in the front of the suit. You can see some of the embroidered detail here, the Alpine Star logo here. We have two zipper storage pockets, one on either side of the jacket. Go ahead and take this off, we'll give you a look at the back. The only thing that I would complain about a little bit right from Jump Street is they use kind of a small zipper pull here, at, you know, for the center zipper, the main zipper of the jacket. Same one they've used on the sleeves. Not a deal breaker, but it would have been nice if they would use the larger ergonomic style. Zip that down, you can see here, nice little Alpine Stars logoing all the way down on the inner flap of the jacket. Let's go ahead and pull the coat off, and let's take a look at the back. The back side of the jacket, you will note we have perforation here in the back of the collar. That's a hot spot, allows the heat energy to escape. You'll see here that the top of the race hump is perforated, okay? We'll pull the race hump out of the jacket. We should be able to get it out and give you a look. I believe the hump is hollow and they'll use that to help manage some airflow into the jacket. 
More stretch panels here in the underarms. They felt very effective. Additional perforation here in the back of the coat. Some Alpine Star logoing down here. I showed you the Velcro style waist adjuster right there. Inside the coat, here is what it looks like without the liner installed. Okay, we've got some nice comfort trim here around the collar. It feels good and comfortable. Internal zippered storage pocket here on the left breast. The pockets that were in the liner carry over to the, the jacket itself. You can see we have that dual stage Velcro pocket here on the left side, single stage over here on the right side. This includes a 360 degree zip to pants, zip to many of the Alpenstar pants. Okay. This jacket includes the Alpine Star chest armor. Okay, it comes with the, the kind of a medium density foam installed. I'm going to remove a piece of that and show you what it looks like. We do also have available the Alpine Star's bionic chest armor, okay, which is more of a hard GP style that can install in its place. And here's what we see in the chest now. It's perforated, kind of a medium density foam. The back protector for the jacket can be accessed through this zippered closure here at the bottom. There's a tag that says install protection here. Go ahead and zip that open, reach inside. That'll expose another pocket that has a Velcro closure at the bottom. Undo the Velcro, pull it out, and here is our medium density perforated foam back protector. This is also upgradable to their RC CE certified back protector. So you can do that for both the chest and the back. We find that many people do go ahead and make those upgrades. Now, let's see if we can't have a look at the shoulder and the elbow armor. In order to access that, we're going to have to go in through this pocket down here on the bottom and get inside the liner of the coat. I'm now inside the sleeve of the jacket. I'm going to remove the elbow and the forearm protector. CE certified GP style in this jacket. This is the good stuff from Alpine Star. As you can see here, here is the Velcro attachment. This little part here slides into a pocket in the bottom of the sleeve. Now let's go in again and let's see if we can grab a hold of the shoulder protector. The style that they use here may not be removable, but I'm going to try and pull it through the pocket of the coat to show you the perforation that's actually in the armor. Ryan, if you want to tighten up, please, on these holes right here. You see, when they punched it, there's a couple of pieces of debris here. These holes that are bored into the shoulder armor on the inside, that's to manage the airflow that comes in from the vent. Okay? Nice design, once again, CE certified. The last thing I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to see if I can get to the race hump in this coat. You can remove them on most of the suits. That may not, however, be the case with the jacket. They may have the liner sealed off in that area. But it does appear that the race hump is, is perforated and it's going to manage airflow into the jacket. I can't access it, but I can feel the inside of it now. And the air hump is definitely perforated. So what's going to happen here is when you're in a tuck on your bike, the air drives in here, moves in the back of the jacket, really enhances the cooling. This jacket will move a lot more air than its appearance would lead you to believe. The leather feels of great quality. We think the Vector is an incredible jacket from Alpine Stars.